Hello boys and girls. Today we are working on lesson 6.2 in our Go Math book and it says to use counters or draw a quick picture, make equal groups, and complete the table. So how many times does 7 go into 21? There's multiple ways to do this. You can grab 21 things of cereal, or 21 coins, or you can draw 21 lines and you can separate it, or hopefully you know how to skip count by sevens. Seven, 14, 21. How many times does seven go into 28? Seven, 14, 21, 28. If you can't easily skip count, you can do some mental math by going seven. What's seven plus seven? Seven plus seven is 14. 14 plus seven is 21. 21 plus seven is 28. I can just add up. 32 divided by 4. How many times does 4 go into 32? 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 21, or 24, 28, 32, 8. How many times does three go into nine? Three, six, nine. How many times does five go into 35? Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. How many times does three go into 24? So say you can't count it. Say you don't have anything with you. The easiest way to do this is to draw a model and cut it into thirds. And then you're going to start skip counting to the, by the highest number you can, 5, 10, 15, 7, 14, 21, 7, 14, 21, I need to get to 24. 22, 23, 24. So how much is in each box? Seven plus one more is eight. Alicia has 12 eggs that she will use to make four different cookie recipes. If each recipe calls for the same number of eggs, you see this word each and same number, that tells you you're gonna multiply or divide. So you have the total of 12, you've got four different cookie recipes. How many eggs will you need? And they're equal. So, what do we do? Well, actually, this is multiplication. You're gonna divide 12 divided by four. How many times does four go into 12? Draw a bar graph, cut it into fours, and then you skip count. Two, four, six, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So how much is in each of these? Three. Three eggs. Brett picked 27 flowers from the garden. He plans to give an equal number that tells you to multiply or divide to each of the three people. So you have 27, three, an equal number. Since I have my total, I know I'm going to divide. So 27 or divided by three equals what? Now obviously I can easily do that. However, if you don't know how to multiply, 
you really struggle with this. So, let's start by doing our sixes. Six, 12, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. How many is in each of these blocks? Six plus three more is nine. So three times nine equals 27, or 27 divided by three equals nine. Now in your own words, I want you to describe how to divide 18 by two. And that concludes today's lesson.